Audio check, audio check, one, two. Audio check, audio check. All right, we have sound. Good evening and welcome to the Latin Coast Network. Tonight's contest will be the Queen of the Girl. Uh, Fort Collins High School and the Saber Cats are. Missed the first few minutes of the broadcast, but we got everything set up and we're ready to go. Three minutes until the end of the first quarter, and it's off the bridge by two. Seven to five. Kevin Clark almost steals it. Out of bounds, it'll stay right here with Falls and Ridge. Also, Ridge dumps it in. It's a free throw line, poked away. Recovered. And a drive. Layup for Fossil Ridge, two points. And here come the Lampkins. Third wax step gets it over to Lydia Trout. Wagstaff for the layup, no good. Rebound goes to Fossil Bridge, and here they go the other way. The gym's starting to fill up here at Fort Collins High School. We're in the Lamb Shack tonight for a rivalry game. This should be a fun one. Pass inside the post, jump hook is good. Fossil Ridge goes up by six. Minute 45 left in the first quarter. The shot. Three point shot. Jocelyn Kramer for three. The drive. Blocked. Here comes Wagstaff. She gets it up to Alcaraz. She's going to drive. Takes a shot. It's going to be a foul, but it's going to be on the floor. They're not going to shoot free throws. Well, they might shoot free throws because that could be their fifth foul of the quarter. We'll see. And they are in the double bonus. Xavier so Alcraz goes to the line. First shot on the way is good. 127 till the end of the first quarter. The stands are filling up. The band is here. Avery makes her second free throw. And we have a one-point ball game. Here come the Sabercats. Pushing up. Fossil works it around. Corner three. No good. Rebound's going to go to Van Dalen. Clears it out. Gets it to Kramer. And here come the Lampkins. One minute till the end of the first quarter. One minute. Works it around. Paige Fry has it. Gets it down to Alcaraz. She's going to try a post move. Turn around. Jumper's no good. Rebound goes to Fossil Ridge. And here they go the other way. They pull it out to set their offense. Four Collins is playing man-to-man -man defense. The dribble, the drive, kicks out the three. Nothing there. Works it around. Thought about the three. Blocked by Paige Fry. Recovered by Fossil Ridge. They have nobody down low, but the Lambkins recover. Kick. Cano kicked it out of bounds. 26 seconds left till the end of the first quarter.
We'll see if Fossil Ridge holds for last shot or what they're going to do. They're in no hurry, so they may be holding for last shot. Almost stolen by Lydia. And foul. Stepped on her foot, but they called a foul a child, so. What do you do? So Fouls are ready to get the ball in bounds. 13 seconds till the end of the first quarter. Child almost steals it. Playing tough defense. The drive. The floater on the way, no good. Rebound goes to Penley Park, and it's going to be quarter. So at the end of one quarter play, Fossil Ridge Saber Cats 11. The Lampkins 10. You're watching the Lampkins Sports Network. Thanks for joining us tonight in a loud environment. It should be a fun one. So we have the girls game right now, and after this, the boys will follow in a heated city rivalry match between the two rivals who are separated by about a mile and a half. Four Collins gets the ball to start the second quarter. Fry's trying to inbound it. Gets it to Alcaraz. She's going to take a drive. Poke. Quick up, recovers. Gets over to Cano. She's looking. She's going to drive. Shot on the way is blocked. It's going to be recovered by Fossil Ridge and here they go. Pass to the corner. They had a little bit of luck, but then he wasn't even looking for a shot. She must not feel comfortable shooting that far away. Fossil Ridge resets. Look into the corner. Good defense by the Lampkins. The Lampkin girls are a very disciplined team. To drive, to lay up. Late call. It's going to be on Penley Park. I disagree with that call. They called it after the girl hit the ground. It was suspect at best. Either way. Fossil Ridge, number four. Ava Herbert, uh, Jr. They don't have their night. Second break goes good. Here come the Lampkin. Park looking to set something up. Gets it over to Fry. Or that was Lydia, I'm sorry, Child. She gets it on Canada. The give and the go. Child shoots, gets a block. It's going to be out of bounds. It shall be Fossil Ridge Ball. Jocelyn Kramer checks into the contest. We're going to put a little bit of pressure on, but it's broken. Sets up shop. Point guard's looking to drive. Gets cut off. Backdoor pass. Recovered by the Lampkins. Try to hit her. Oh, they call it a travel. Of course it was. I thought they might get Paige for a hook, but... Got a Fossil Ridge player for the walk. 6.30 till the end of the first half. We're at the Lampkin home game. The Lamb Shack, we call it. Fossil
also Ritz comes into the game. I believe they're ten and seven. The Lampkin Lady Lampkins are thirteen and three. Kramer drives. Avery, she's gonna shoot the three, and it's just off. But Paige Fry with the rebound. Alcaraz with another shot, no good. And it'll be Fossil Ridge ball. Looking to get it in, they do. Libby Whale is Wally. Takes the drive, the shot, contested. Rebound goes to the Lampkins. And they kick it out. Here comes Park. Fossil Ridge is back. It's a two on two. Gets it over to Kato, but there is a drive, and they're going to call it a charge. Got going a little bit too fast, and. Turn the ball over. That's going to be the second foul on Park. Inbound the ball. Poke by Kano. She's going to take it in. The shot. The basket. And the foul. Raya Kano. 5'11 senior. Takes it in strong and draws a foul. She'll go to the line, see if she can complete the three point opportunity. It's not there. Rebound goes to Fossil Ridge. We're all tied up with 5.30 left until halftime. 5.30. Kick out. Whoa. Not there. Rebound. It's going to stay right here with Fossil Ridge. Looks like Fort Collins is going to go to a 2-3 zone on the sudden bound play. Almost stolen by Paige Fry, but knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay right here with Fossil Ridge. Good defense. And they'll try to inbound the ball again against this tough Lampkin defense. The lob. Tries to dump it down. Does. Kick back out. Lynn going to drive. Shot. No good. Rebound's going to go to Fry. And here come the Lampkins. Kramer's going to go the other way with the ball with five minutes till halftime. Fry's going to go on the drive. Power move. Just misses. Out of play. Saved by Brian Wolf. And a good man, Allen, with the two-point shot. As the Lampkins surge into the lead. We have a timeout on the floor with 4.48 till halftime. Your score for Collins Lampkin 14, Buffalo Ridge 12. Thanks for tuning in the game tonight. If you like what you see in here on the Lampkin Sports Network, feel free to subscribe to our channel. We would greatly appreciate it. If you want to comment on the game tonight, if you have that ability, if you're watching on a phone or a tablet or wherever, feel free to join us in the live chat. I tend to try to I try to answer those if I can. So here we go. Fossil Ridge is going to take the ball out underneath. Four Collins is going to put on a full court press. Inbounds the ball. Out of bounds. It's going to go right back here to Fort Collins. Good defense. Annika Van Dalen has turned up the heat. Fry takes it out. Looking underneath. You better get it in than it does. It's stolen by Fossil Ridge. It's a foot race. A dive. She walked with it. You can't hide her playing like that. That's a walk. And this is going to be a jump ball. Call a foul. First, he misses the travel, and then he calls a foul. 
Come on, bro. You got to be better than that. First foul on Van Dalen. Fossil Ridge is going to get the ball out underneath the basket. Try to set up a play against the 2-3 zone. And they get it in. Lynn has the ball up top. Trying to drive. Three-point shot on the way. It's going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Kramer. She gets it ahead to Alcaraz. She can't control the ball and out of bounds. It'll go back to Fossil Ridge. Kate Fry out of the game for Claire Wagstaff for the Lampkins. Fossil Ridge is going to try to get the ball in. Look at this pressure. Throws it up there, and it goes right out of bounds. It's going to be Lampkin ball underneath. The pressure of the Lampkin defense is getting to the Sabercats at this point. It appears to, anyway. Park checks in for Alcaraz. Inbounds goes to Kano. Pump fake. Fade away. No good. Rebounds going to go to Wagstaff. Two points to Wagstaff. She cleared the offensive rebound and put it back up for two. Here comes Lynn the other way. Gets over to Kubat. Out of bounds. You'll see right here with Fossil Bridge. Inbound. Lynn has the ball up top. Natalie Lynn is her name. She's a senior. She does most of the ball handling for the Sabercats. Kubat on the drive. Dishes. The shot on the way. It's going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Wagstaff. And it looks like she got fouled. And she did. Foul on Fossil Ridge with 3.50 until half. 3.50. Four Collins takes the ball out. They're going to walk it up. And they set up their offense. Also Ridge is in a man-man. Almost walk with it. The baseball pass. Had some heat on there. Park gets it to Kano. She's looking underneath to give the go. Park in the layup. Two points in the park. And the can spot by six. Fossil Ridge inbounds it. Lynn turns on the Jets. Backs it out. Looking to set something up. Not much there. Kano's playing tight defense. Double team. Gets it back out to Lynn. There's a pick. Shot on the way. Lynn hits for two. First basket for Fossil Ridge in a good while. And they set up their press. They jump it. And they come into one on one. Child almost stole it. Fossil Ridge gets it back. They're gonna, Lynn's going to drive. And they're just going to set something up. Try to get it down low. The shot in the foul. Looks like. Carmen Arkin is going to the line for two shots. She's a senior. And timeout on the floor with 227 until halftime. Four Collins, 18. Also Ridge, 14. It was a quick 30 second timeout. The Lamb Shack slowly filling up as we inch closer to the halftime of the girls' game and the start of the boys' game. Hey, Arkin's going to go to the line. She'll shoot two shots. Hey. 
First free throw on the way is not good. And she takes her time here, sizing up that second shot. And misses again. Rebound from Kramer. Double team. Stolen. Fouled about three times, and they finally call one. It's going to be third team foul for Fossil Ridge. So they got two more before Four Collins can shoot any free throws. They got the full court pressure on. They're going man full court. Inbounds it to Alcaraz. She's going to get trapped if she doesn't watch herself. She steps. They call it. And as she stepped on the line, it's going to be a turnover. Fossil Ridge ball. Fossil Ridge looks to inbound it. They do. They get it out to Lynn. She's going to set up shop. 2.15 until halftime. 2.15. Dribbles around. Looking for a pick. It's stolen by the Lampkins. She either got hit or walked. What are they going to call? They're going to call a foul. Child stole the ball. Took a shot. And let's see. Now it's the Lampkins starting to see if they can solve this pressure by Fossil Ridge. Fossil Ridge had a hard time with the Lampkin pressure. Now it's the other way around. Inbounds it to Kramer. Gets it to Fry down the middle. It's a three on two. Avery looks at the shot. Doesn't. Pump fake. Gets it off the fry. Over in the corner of the child. She's going to drive out the park. Gets it in the fry. She dribbles. Gets it stolen. Nope. Gets it back to the corner. Kramer for two or three. I couldn't tell if she was online or not. Rebound with the fossil. Now there's a scrum. It's a battle. It's a jump ball. And it'll go to the fossil ridge. One thirty seven till halftime. One three seven. Also Ridge is gonna inbound the ball. Gets over to their point guard. Charles is trying to put some pressure on her. But they get across the timeline with no problem. Also looks to set something up. Works it. Looking underneath. Stolen by Paige Fry. She's going to go. It's a two on. Uh, Lampkins had two. Fossil Ridge had three. So she wisely set up the offense. Kramer to the crossover. Three point shot on the way is nothing but net. Jocelyn Kramer for three. We're in one minute till halftime. One minute. Lynn dribbles the ball. Working it around. 18 foot shot. Pulled up. No good. Rebound's going to go to Fossil Ridge. Shot up on the way. Rebound goes to Kramer. She throws it away. It's going to stay right here with Fossil Ridge. And Dalen checks in for Childs with 38 seconds left until halftime. Fossil Ridge takes it out. They're going to set up shop. They may hold for last. Well, there's 37 seconds. That'd be a long time to hold for last shot. They're probably going to try to set something up and get a good shot. Cut off by Kano. Good defense. The three-point shot's on the way, and it's going to be good. Wall. It's W-A-L-E. I'm not sure. Whale? I don't think it's Whale. It's probably Wall. We'll just call her that anyway. If it's wrong, I apologize. Timeout on the floor with 14 seconds till halftime. Well, they called Fossil Ridges. Shot a two point, not a three point shot. So it's 21 16 at this juncture. She must have had her foot on the line because it was pretty close to a three quarter. Either way. Fort Collins enjoying a five-point lead. They'll likely hold their last shot of the first half. Look for himself to deal with the pressure from Boston Bridge. Here 
Here they come out of the timeout. Fry's going to take it out, but you can't see her among the mass of students down there. You'll see the ball come out of there. There it is. Gets it to Kramer. Crossover dribble. Gets it inside. To give the go. Kramer with the layup. Block. It's going to be out of bounds. Stays right here with the Lampkins. With 6.8 seconds left until halftime. 6.8. Alcaraz is going to take it out. Better watch for her. She gets it in. Works it around. They're going to try to get her set up. There it is. Avery Alcaraz. Three. Nothing but. Net at the buzzer. Avery Alcaraz. Buries the three-point shot. At the end of one half play. Norfolk on Black and Girls 24. Fossil Ridge 16. You're watching the Lampkin Sports Network. Bit of change in schedule tonight. The games usually start at 6:30, but tonight it's a seven o'clock game for the boys varsity. Girls started at a little after 5:30, so it's going to be late. The boys are scheduled to start at seven, but it won't start at that time. It'll probably be 15, 20 minutes after that, depending on how the second half goes.
smoke a little bit up there. I'll check with you guys. Yeah. I'm not going to take any tea. But, yeah. So, I'm going to Every morning. Yeah. How's uh, Nikki doing? Real good. Nikki. Nikki trying stuff up there. She likes it there. We just wait to see what happens. They let go of their office to coordinate her. We wait to see what office they're going to put in. He rented until he was about four years left. He got three games. He played most of the special teams. He's a nice place up there. I like it. I've never been over there. Really? Yeah. Really? 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 Yes. He went over there at break. Somebody told me he enrolled somewhere, but they didn't know where. Well, he enrolled at Wyoming. He uh, did one semester up there. Yeah. Um, he, didn't go to, he didn't like it in my hand. Did he play it or did he just... No, he went over there at... Well, he went over and break. Um, so he's he's practicing and stuff, but he won't. I don't know if they have to officially register him or what. Yeah. Well, good for him. I'm glad he's playing somewhere. Me too. What do you got on this game then? How many, how many of these have you seen? Four cones? Yeah. Oh. Hey, on the road all game all the time here, it seems like. We keep it bottled, you don't think it's that big. Sounds like Jackson's playing pretty well. Jackson's playing well. I talked to, uh, well, I talked to him recently, but I talked to his dad this morning. Yeah, uh, yeah they're, their role players are starting to come along. Jackson just says that Jackson does. Yeah. One of Fossil's big guys, one of my guys, is out tonight. Oh, really? He's the only other big guy. Uh, Eli, the big kid here, Jackson will push him around all night. Oh, really? Yeah. And then Jensen, who's the other big, uh, out. And he's, no, oh, he's athletic. Uh, so, watch that one.
All right, halftime's just about over with. And we're ready to get rolling. We're at halftime of the girls' game. Boys will follow it. Whatever time this gets over, plus 15 minutes. So like I said before, normally it's a 6.30 start time for the boys' games, but they pushed it back to 7 o'clock tonight, which means it's going to be pushed back even further unless this half gets over in a half an hour, which I highly doubt. So the Lampkins are enjoying an eight-point lead at halftime, and they're going to get the ball. As soon as they reset the clock, we'll be good to go. And we're ready for some basketball. Fry is going to inbound it. Gets it in the park. That can set up the offense. High post, back door, go to Alcaraz. The reverse layup is no good. Rebound goes off Fossil Red. They'll stay right here with the Lampkins. Fry's going to put it in. We're just starting the third quarter. Gets it in. Kramer with the shot. Nothing but net. Jocelyn Kramer with two points. And here comes Lynn. Gets it over. The drive. Had a layup, but passed it up and walked with the ball. She must have got shy underneath there. Fossil Ridge is going to see if they can pressure the Lampkins in a few more turnovers. They had quite a few in the first half. Lampkins seem to be ready for it this time. Get out ahead. Alcaraz gets it across. Kano. Two points for Collins. Brian Kano with the basket. Fossil Ridge gets it in. Four Collins with some full court pressure. Now they get into their set. She may have walked with that one, but she got away with it either way. The drive, the shot. Two points. Gianna Leone. With the runner. Here comes Kramer the other way. It's a three on one. Alcaraz in the corner. Shot on the way. She's fouled. Look like. Natalie Lind got her on the arm. That's going to be her third foul. That's a big one. She runs the whole show for the offense or for Fossil Ridge, so that could be a developing story to keep an eye on. I couldn't tell if they signaled two or three shots for Avery, but she's going to go to the line for at least two shots. With 6.54 left till the end of the third quarter, we're just starting second half action. See if we can pick up how many free throws she's going to get. She was real close to the three point line, but I couldn't tell. The students are in the way. Looks like they're signaling two shots. First free throw on the way is good. And she'll get one more. Free throw on the way is good as well. Poor Collins sets up full court. Stolen. Over to Alcaraz. She takes a drive shot. No good. Rebound's going to go to Fossil Ridge, and they're out of the heat. Here they come. No numbers. And decides to pull it back and see if they can set something up. Poor Collins is going to try to trap. Stolen by Alcaraz. Gets it ahead. Park tries to get a handle on it. It goes behind her back. It gets stuck and she walks and then stepped out of bounds. Either way, it's going to go to Fossil Ridge. Tried for the fast break. Ball got kind of stuck behind her back and turned it over. Fossil Ridge trying to inbound the ball. Throws it right out of bounds. Lampkin ball. The Lampkins pressure defense is really affecting Fossil Ridge in this game thus far. Try looking inside. Nothing there. 
Gets it in. Two point fouls on Kramer. The Lampkins go up 14. Here come the Sabercats. Good tight defense. Try to drive baseline. Throws it up there. Nothing. Rebounds going to Fry. She runs over some people and gets hit by herself. And it's going to be a foul on Fossil Ridge, I believe. I believe it's on 23 Kubat. It's going to be her third personal. Have to keep an eye on Fossil Ridge is inching into foul trouble. But there's a steal on the fast break. Shot up and no good. Rebound. She got her own rebound. Tried to power it back up and got fouled. Gia Leone, I believe that is. She's a junior. Going to the line for two shots. Fouls is going to go on Paige Fry. That's her first. Team first. First free throw is good. Checking in for Fry is Claire Wagstaff. She's a six foot four senior. And Leone sizes up her second free throw attempt. Good as well. Lampkin's trying to inbound the ball. I don't think she knows she can run. Gets it in. Works it around. Van Dalen gets it up top. Here comes Wagstaff. Dumps it to Alcaraz. Pump fake. Shot on the way. No shot. No basket. It'll be on the ground. It went in, but they called it on the floor. So the Lampkins will get the ball underneath with six minutes till the end of the third quarter. Kramer's going to try to look in the side. Get it. Wagstaff has about a few inches on the girl guarding her. Gets it over to Park. She's wide open for three. Shot. No good. Rebound's going to go to Park. She's going to shoot again. No good. Rebound Fossil Ridge. And there they go the other way. They have no numbers, but this girl doesn't care. Len, she pulls back. Three-point shot on the way. is good. This way, you thought Port Collins was going to put them away. Fossil Ridge comes back, back with the three-point shot. Wagstaff takes a drive. Fouled on the arm. And she'll go line for two shots. Claire Wagstaff. Her first free throw attempt is good. Kano checks in for Van Dalen. Wagstaff. Volleyball player. Signed to play volleyball next year at the University of Wyoming. Makes their second free throw. Fort Collins is trying to put some pressure on. They may get the steal. They get it. Avery gets it. Took it to Kano. Over to Penley Park. She's going to try him in for the layup. Oh, no good. Rebound's going to go to the Lampkins. Kano flips the drive. Gets it down. Kicks it out. Park drives. Here comes Kano. She's looking at it for a lob to Wagstaff. It's not there. Wagstaff gets the bounce back. Shot on the way. No good. But she got bomb again. Or Wagstaff working hard underneath the board. paying off. 5.09 till the end of the third quarter. Wagstaff to the line for two. First attempt on the way is not good. Rolled around and rolled off. Substitution in for the Sabercats. And here we're ready for the second free throw attempt. On the way and no good as well. Rebound's going to go to Fossil Ridge. And Fort Collins is going to try to press it. Long pass. It's going to be overhead and out of bounds. It'll be Fort Collins' ball. Paige Fry and Lydia Chalice check in for Kramer and Alcaraz. 
Fort Collins has got to deal with this pressure. they got to move if they want to get the ball in. Throws it up. It's stolen by Fossil Ridge. Gets into the corner. Pump fake. Nothing there. They're going to set up shop. Kubat hands it off. Another handoff. Inside. The jump hook is no good, but there's a foul on the play. It's going to be on Paige Fry. Four forty-two left until the end of the third. To the line for two shots. First one goes. I think it's Carmen Arkin. Hard to tell the number from here, but yeah, I need spotters down there. Yeah, 33. Arkin makes her second free throw. And they pull within nine. Inbound pass to Childs. He goes behind her back and gets tipped. Stolen again by Fossil Ridge. Layup, two points, Fossil Ridge. They're on a run. They better get a timeout. And they do. Four Collins calls timeout with 4.33 left until the end of the third quarter. Your score, 34-27. Watching the Lampkin Sports Network. Yeah. All right, coming out of the timeout, Fossil Ridge is going to. Stay with their full court pressure. See if the Lampkins can handle it. See if they made some adjustments here at the timeout. They're going to get it at the side. And Fry gets it in. Fossil Ridge falls back. She's going to get a pick. And drives. Working it around. Kramer with the drive. Pull back. Step back three. Our two point shot is no good. Rebound off Fossil Ridge. It's going to go stay right here with the Lampkins. Lampkins set up. Looking for Kano. She's open. Gets it at the three point shot. Bumps. Drives. Layup. No good. Rebounds. Pulled away by Fossil Ridge. Kano tried to jump the pass, but here comes Lynn. She's quick and going in a hurry. Three-point shot attempt by Leone is no good. Rebound's going to go to Arkin and two points to the bridge. And the Sabercats pull within five. Lampkins are quickly the other way. Alcaraz for three. No good. Rebound's going to go to Paige. And took it away from her, and then she commits a frustration foul. That's going to be three fouls on number 20, Paige Fry. Fossil Ridge is now in the double bonus. They get two free throws for every time the Lampkins foul. Oh, I'm sorry. That was only the Lampkins' third team foul. Four Collins is in the double bonus. So anytime Fossil Ridge follows them until the end of the third quarter, Four Collins will get two free throws. Lynn takes the drive, gets it down, kicked, and they'll stay right here. Fossil Ridge looks inbound. Gets it up top. They set up shop. Look to drive. Gets it down low. It could have been a foul. Could have been a flop. Either way, Fossil Ridge gets two points. And he tightened the game up even further. Four pounds. Gets the ball in. That's a, having a hard time. And they call a foul on Fossil Ridge. But the hold. Claire Wax is going to go to the line for two shots. Maddie Kuba with her fourth foul. She's just a freshman. Learning about a city rivalry in the fire. 
So Waxhat's going to go to the line for two. Her first free throw attempt's on the way and off. Subs are in. Wagstaff. Gonna go to the line. They hope she makes it so they can set up to press. Shot on the way. Rolls around. Off. Rebound Fossil Ridge. And here come the Sabercats the other way. Three point game to drive the foul. It's gonna be a foul on Claire Wagstaff, I believe. That's going to be her first foul. Fourth team foul by the Lampkins. Next foul the Lampkins make or commit will be a two free throw bonus for Fossil Ridge. Looking in on the ball. Does. It's up top. Takes a drive. Stripped. Kano gets it. Grimmer walk. Got away with it. She drives. Gets it to the corner. Penley Park for three is no go. Oh, Penley Park for three. And quickly, here comes Fossil Ridge, and there's a foul by Park. So Lynn will go to the line for two shots. I believe. Yep, that's who it is. 2.58 left till the end of the third quarter. 2.48. 2.40, I don't know if I said 58 or 48. What do you do? All I know is she's on the free throw line, and she missed her first shot. The Lampkins look like they're going to blow this wide open, but Fossil Ridge's pressure put a damper on that thought. And they're tightening the game up. Second free throw attempt is good. Lampkins see if they can handle the pressure. they got to move. Gets it in. Here comes Park. She's going to break the pressure herself. Gets it over to Wagstaff. Pass is stolen by Fossil Ridge. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Alcaraz tries to take the charge. And they're going to call a block. Lily Well is going to go. Wally is going to go to the line for two shots. That's Alcaraz's second foul of the game. First free throw attempt is good. Got the high bounce, but rang true. Second free throw attempt is on the way and good as well. Give Fossil Ridge credit, they're hitting their free throws. Ball goes in the Kramer. She the baseball passes to the park. She's going to take a drive, layup, foul, basket. Do it. Two points, Bentley Park, and the foul. She'll go to the line and see if she can complete the traditional, conventional three-point play. Instead of the three-point bomb. Fort Collins is going to have to start hitting their free throws. Park's pretty solid. See if she can drain it. Free throw on the way is no good. Rebound's going to go to page five. Tipped away, it's going to go back to the left, or Sabercats. And here she comes. She's a quick little point guard. She walked, though, stepped on the line. Natalie Lynn stepped on the line and went out of bounds. For Collins ball. Also, Ridge sets up the press. Gets it in the park. It gets tipped away. She keeps it in the corner. Gets it over to Fry. It's a fast break. Kicks it outside to Akaraz. She pump fix, drive, shot on the way, no good. Rebound's gonna go to Alcaraz. Throws it up there. Foul. 209 till the end of the third quarter. Avery Alcaraz is gonna go to the line for two shots. First free throw attempt on the way is good. Alcaraz can shoot it. She's got a nice stroke from the free throw line as well. Foul on Fossil Ridge was Carmen Arkin. That's her third foul. And Alcaraz's second free throw attempt is good. And we have a sub. 
Alcaraz takes a break. Van Dalen checks in. Fort Collins is going to pressure the ball. They get it in. I thought they're going to steal, but they don't. Here come the Fossil Ridge Sabercats the other way. The drive, the kick out, the shot on the way from three point is going to be no good. Rebound, Fossil Ridge. Almost a jump ball. Layup, no good. Rebound goes to Fry. She turns it over. A lot of pushing and shoving down there, and let's see what the call is. It's going to go against Jocelyn Kramer. And I can't tell the number. Free throw attempt is on the way and good. I think it's Ava Herbert. I think. Either way, she makes the basket. 154 till the end of the third quarter. Shot on the way is no good. Rebound goes to Fossil Ridge. Blocked. Out of bounds, stays right here with the Sabercats. Fossil Ridge looks inbound, setting picks. Knocked away by Park and out of bounds and stay right here again. Lydia Childs is going to check in for somebody. She's going to get Kano. Tried to inbound the ball. Caught up top. Working it around. Lynn looking to drive. Kicks it down. Tipped by Childs. Off the foot of the Fossil Ridge Saber Cat. And it'll be Fort Collins ball. 139 till the end. Of, oh, they. But I thought they called Fort Collins ball. They changed their mind and gave it to the Sabercats. Looking in to bound the ball. Gets it in. Cross court pass. Shot on the way is no good. Rebound goes to Fort Collins. And she fights through it. Double team. Kicks it out. Van Dalen gets it over. Here comes Fry. Ball across half court. The pressure defense. Here comes Kramer. She's going to shoot the three-point shot. Just off. Rebound for Collins. And a foul. Collins gets a layup, two points. Good job for two. First to defense, plan to turn it over and give it right back. Nope, stepped on the line. It's going to be four on ball. Points for Collins. 25 seconds till the end of the third quarter. James Starber joining us in the booth. Color man for the boys' game. He's going to help us out here until the end of the girls' game here. A little louder in here tonight than last Friday. Oh man, way louder, isn't it? Lynn with the layup. Or the floater. No good. Rebound goes to Fry. Five, four, three, two. Out of bounds. It's going to go to O's kick. Stay with four columns with 1.7 seconds left. See if they can get something right here. Shoot it, Paige. You got to shoot right, it. Got to shoot it. So at the end of three quarters of the play, four columns 45, Fossil Ridge 35. Go. Hey. 
The trophy's down there in the front row. It's down in front of the band, yeah. I brought it out, so. We start losing this, but I think that's it. Oh, oh, absolutely. It's not in anywhere. It's down there if you guys want to grab it. Just don't break it. I'll get in trouble. Foster! Foster! What's up, buddy? Start of the fourth quarter. 15 seconds in. Alcaraz buries two free throws and put the Lancers up by 12. The shot on the way. No good. Rebound goes to four columns. Fry tries to dribble it out. Throws it up and away. Yeah, they got to take care of the ball. They have a lot of turnovers tonight. Here comes Lynn, looking the drive, kicks it out. Look at these bounce passes, James. You never see that in a boys' game. Fry gets it way up top to Alcaraz. Shot before Alcaraz. Seven minutes left in the game. Four Collins goes up 14. And Lynn tries to drive. Kicks it outside. Walls goes up for the shot. No good. Rebound Van Dalen. And here comes Four Collins. It's got to have a fast break. Alcaraz is ahead of the crop again. Two points. The foul. And the Lampkins are surging. Looks to me like Fort Collins found something in the way Fossil Ridge was setting up. They started leaking out Alcaraz every time that Fossil Ridge shot the ball, and she's gotten three laps in a row.
steal. Look at that. Here comes Port Collins. They call a charge? Wow. They haven't called that all night. So foul on Barker is going to be her third foul. 6.21 left on the end of the game. And we have a sub. Kano comes in for a park. Here come the Sabercats. Tipped. Recovered. Shot on the way is going to be nothing but air. Ill advised shot, in my opinion. Lamb gets ball with 6.09 left. Inbounds. Ken Dalen, a little bit of a trap. She may have walked. And she did. Four Collins is going to turn the ball over again. And it'll be Fossil Rick ball at half court. Just under six until the end of the game. Fossil Ridge dumps it inside to Leone. She kicks it back outside. Lynn's shot on the way is going to be banked. Or that wasn't Lynn. That was somebody else. Get her number here. That might have been her, but. Here come the Lampkins. Great pass. Great shot. Danica Van Dalen for two. Fossil Ridge moves it around. Three-point shot attempt on the way is good as well. Two for two for the last two three-point shots from Fossil Ridge. Four Collins doesn't let off the gas there across the half-court line in a hurry. To give him the go, Paige gets it outside the park. Off the butt. Net. Another three-point shot on the way is no good. Rebound's going to go to Leone. Miss dribble. Poked around. Fossil Ridge is going to try to set something up. 4.50 left all at the end of the game. 4.50. The drive. The shot. No good. Rebound's going to go to Fry. He gets fouled. Pretty good environment. What do you think, James? <laughs> the baseball pass in. Caught by Wagstaff. Hand it off to give him the go. Here comes Claire. Gets it over to Alcaraz in the corner. Takes a drive off her foot. A scrum. Fossil Ridge will get the ball. Fossil Ridge tries in by the ball. Alcaraz tips it. Recovered by Lynn. Here she comes 100 miles an hour. Kicks to the corner. No shot. Thought she's going to go up with it. Doesn't. Working the ball. The drive. The layup. Two points. Fossil Ridge. Kuba with two. The inbound pass. Kano hits it. It's going to go off for Collins, I believe. Nope. They're going to call it left. Four Collins ball. I thought we hit that. Yeah, they must. They knew they were guilty. The long pass in. Gets it to Wagstaff. Layup. Throw Wagstaff for two. Three-point shot attempt on the way. No good. Rebound's going to go to Fossil Ridge. Both hit the deck. It's going to be a foul. No, they call it a jump ball. They call it a jump ball? Yeah. I believe so. 
Fort Collins inbounds the ball. Tip stolen. To drive out to the corner. Three point shot attempt on the way is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Fort Collins Ridge. And she gets hammered. Are you green or green? Green. Oh, green? Okay, I think my mic was off. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I think my mic was off. Oh, no. Is my mic on now? I think we got our technical difficulties figured out. <laughs> you should be able to hear Coach Tarver now. movement on. I wasn't aware. Free throw attempt is no good. 341 left on the end of the contest. Second free throw attempt is on the way in. Not good. Rebound's going to go to Fossil Retro. Shot on the way. Two points. Arkin with two. Okay, we have confirmation. I, I now have a voice. All right. So there we go. Oh, spin. The spin move. Oh, you're going to call it travel. Look like Jackie Moon out there with the spin. <laughs> The Flint Tropics. Very underrated movie, that one. Wonder how they'll be this year. Here comes Lynn. Breaking the press. Kicks out. Wall looking for somebody. Nobody there. Gets it down low. Back out front. Lynn's going to take a step back three. It's going to be no good. Rebound's going to go off of Fossil Ridge. And it'll go to the left game. 309 till the end of the game. Uh, be ready for the trap here. Get to the point where Fossil's got to get some steals. Inbounds the ball. Oh, here nice. comes Kramer. Nice crossover. In behind the back. Working Park gets it down. Alcaraz looking underneath the fry. She's going to do it. Turn nice. around. The drop step. The power move. Page right for two. Paige Fry, also the best teacher's aide currently Page. at Fort Collins High School. There you go. Three-point shot attempt is going to be short. Out of bounds, Fort Collins ball. I don't want to pr procrastinate or pr uh, I don't want to be a seersayer, but I think the Lampkins have this one. Be pretty amazing uh, collapse slash comeback. We don't fit it in the one. park. She's trying to get out of the trap, gets it over to the Kramer. Here she comes on the fast break. Alcaraz in the corner for three. No good. Rebound's going to go to Fossil Ridge, and there they go the other way. I would have done it for sure. I was trying to say Park Nasticator. That was way too many syllables for me to try to get. <laughs> nice. Ooh, almost almost stolen. Oh, that was a good look. Three point shot attempt on the way is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Fossil Ridge. Two points. And there's a timeout on the court. With 2.02 left until the end of the game. Fort Collins 61. Fossil Ridge 47. So if you're trying to tune in for the boys game, it's going to be soon after this game. It was scheduled to start at 7. We knew it was going to go over time. We'll probably get started somewhere in the nature of 7.30, 7.35. We'll see. Enjoy the musical silence of the Lincoln Band. Both teams out of the timeout. James, you think it's too early for them to start fouling and try to get more possessions, or is it go time? I think they got to do something down 14 here. If you don't get a steal, maybe a quick foul. Here come the Otherwise, lift. They're just going to work clock. Now, the oh. shot is no good. Rebound's going to go right the Four Collins. There you They're go. Gonna set something up. They just need to take time up the clock. This is who you don't want to foul. Yeah, exactly. Foul her all you want. There we go. That'll be the fourth team foul for Fossil Ridge. Their next foul put them in the double. Four Collins in the double bonus. Yeah, 
if we're shooting free throws, we want to see Avery Alcarez on the line there. She's been drilling them all night. Oh, yeah. Kramer gets it in the fry, kicks it outside. And Fort Collins is just going to be content to run the clock off. Or run the clock down. Try with the post up. 125. Oh. Now left she throws it away. It's going to go the other way. Van Dalen's back. Takes a charge. But it's going to be a block. Nice take there by Gianna Leone. She's related to Dominic Leone. Good genes in that family. That kid was a heck of a wide receiver. Yeah, I'm guessing that's somewhere on the family tree. Yeah. First free throw attempt is good. Or she completes a three point play. The long pass. The Lampkins have numbers, but they're going to pull it back out and set something up. 115 left till the end of the game. They're going to play catch between Dan Dan, or between, oh, there we go, Alcaraz and Kramer. Let's see if they can follow Alcaraz. Gets it to the corner. Can't see because the kids are in the way. Avery's got it here. Avery has it in the corner. Yeah, something some happened. foul here. Can't see that corner. Yeah, we can't see anything. We're gonna have to stand up. Second game. Looks like a turnover. It appears to be Fossil Ridge ball. Less than a minute. Though. Fifty-two seconds left. No fouls. No fouls. Three-point shot attempt is no good. Rebound's gonna go to Jocelyn Kramer. Kramer. Tries to go. get it to Fry, and there we go. Four counts across the half turn, uh, half court line. They're going to wait to get fouled. 30 seconds left in the game. 3-0. Fossil Ridge looks content to just play it straight up. There you go. Foul. And right when I say that, they foul them. <laughs> it's always how it works. Paige Fry is going to go to the line for two shots. Four Collins is down the double bonus with 24 seconds left. It's a great win. I, I believe Paige or, or Rye or Jocelyn, one of them told me today that they hadn't beat the girls hadn't beat Fossil since I believe 2012. The streak is over. Now it's time for Collins to start a new one. Fry's first free throw is good. Second attempt on the way is good as well. And here come the Saber Cats. Cross corner pass. Three point shots, no good. Rebound's going to go to Alcaraz. She got fouled about 14 times. They call it jump ball. Jump ball. He's going to hammer down there. Looks like it. Either way, possession is going to go to Fort Collins with 14.3 left in the game. Inbound to Alcaraz. Tip. Control. Uh -oh. Nice pass. Stolen. Clark with the layup, two points Billy Clark, can let you do it. There it is. What a final score. Number 65. Russell Ridge, 50. That's a celebration. Four Collins girls take care of business. What an exciting match at a packed clam jack. 65 to 50. 
We're going to sign off here for a minute while I set up the boys game. It's going to be on a different, you won't be on the same feed. So you have to look for the boys game between Fossil Ridge and Fort Collins on the Lampkin Sports Network here in just a minute. I got to change the feed so I can get a good picture and I got to make sure everything works right. So hang in there with me. Give me about five, six minutes and we'll have everything set up. Signing off for now. We'll be right back. Thank you.